looking at this report, what is this, the takeaway um, for state budgets here and how states may be using accounting tricks that could hurt them in the end? Right, it will hurt their citizens in the long run. And they are under pressure in education, infrastructure, pensions, all these things we hear about. But if they keep disguising the problems, they're not going to deal with them straightforwardly and effectively. So the whole purpose of this uh, report is called Truth in Budgeting, Truth in Reporting the Financial Situation, so that their own citizens can understand it. We haven't got any political acts here one way or the other. You've got to decide what you want to spend the money on and what you want to tax on, but you ought to know what the facts are. Equal opportunity offenders, I was hearing you talk <laughs> right, about. I mean, exactly. both parties do this. And both parties do it. What kind of a grade do you give Chris Christie and his legislature? So I'm not going to score <laughs> Chris Christie or anybody else. The facts speak for themselves. It's not only our report, of course, but the New Jersey's been downgraded, God knows. How many times? I mean, is that out of the hands of the chief chief executive of a state? You know, I mean, because sometimes they, I mean, people like Christie and others say they, they inherit this stuff and they make well, it a little they, bit better and then they well, move they, on to another they job. They inherited some, but it's a legitimate question to ask, uh, are you dealing with your inheritance or are you adding to the problem? Right. And I think New Jersey, it's a legitimate question in New Jersey, as it is in some other states. New Jersey's biggest single problem, I think, is uh, is the pension thing which they have just neglected funding over various administrations. It took a big reform effort, presumably a few years ago, and now backtracked on that. So they're leaving themselves a big hole in financing pensions for the next generation. The people who uh, had nothing to do with getting involved in obligations for the pension are going to have to pay for them. And it's, it's not a sensible way to run the railroad. But Meanwhile, their infrastructure is deteriorating. Right. They're not spending other money that they should be spending. So what's the problem? Why isn't there a political will? Why, why is it allowed to, why can they keep kicking the can down the road here? Well, our theory is there's no political will because the problem is disguised by all these gimmicks and games that people play. They borrow money to pay the pension fund. Well, they're just exchanging one basic obligation for another obligation. It doesn't advance the ball at all. It sounds more like a Ponzi scheme than a way to run a government. That's right, exactly.